What's going on guys, Vic Almighty here. Today we're gonna customize this Off-White Air Max 90 into an undefeated colorway. A few years back I did the right shoe with the Thriller concept, now it's time to do the left shoe. So without further ado, let's get it started. Now we're gonna go ahead and prep the shoe using acetone and cotton balls so when you paint the shoe, the paint sticks to these materials. Prep was complete. Over here on this side, I wiped out the text. Not gonna lie, it hurt a little bit, but the end result will be worth it. Now the next thing we're gonna do is destroy the shoe. We're gonna remove the patch on the tongue and this back piece so we can laser engrave this later on in this video. Patch and back piece are off, we'll come back to these later. Now we're gonna focus on some taping. We're gonna tape off the entire sole, the tongue, and other areas of the shoe so we can get started painting. All right, now that we're taped up, we're gonna lay down our first color, which is a cream. That's gonna go in the entire sock liner and both swooshes. Sock liner and swooshes are good to go. Now we're on to the olive paint. For this color, we're gonna pretty much lay it down all over the uppers using a paintbrush. The mix for this color is just olive, brown, and cream. Super simple. All the paint is good to go. Now we're on to some more time consuming stuff. Use some black paint and a small detail brush. We're gonna go in and paint every single little zigzag stitch all around the shoe. It's gonna take forever, but it's gotta get done. What's up guys? I bet you're expecting Vic to come back. Well, my name's Pedro. I work here at Rejuvenator with him. I help him on the behind the scenes with all these projects. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and continue the stitching. Black paint is laid down. This is starting to look like an undefeated colorway. We also went to the laser engraving room with Julian. Laser engraved the undefeated logo to the back patch. the back patch came out super clean I also added the stitching we're gonna dye it black and glue it back onto the shoe
Back piece is good to go, now to some sewing. I had an orange and black Nike Air Max patch laying around. We're gonna sew it onto the shoe using a patcher. On to the last couple of steps. Next we're gonna lay down our off-white text that goes on the inside of the shoe. Julie made me a new stencil for this. We added the undefeated word inside the text. We're gonna lay it down and then lay down our black paint. Stencils laid down, you guys, look nice and crispy. It's kind of hard to tell because it's different materials on the shoe, but it looks good. Now onto the outsoles. For the outsoles, we're gonna dye it orange using Remix to Cake Soul Dye. This might make or break this custom. Let's see how it turns out. So the sole that didn't go as planned, in my head this looked a lot different. After I laid it down, I realized I kind of made a mistake. The icy sole was kind of a better option for the shoe, but this is an undefeated colorway, so I felt the need to place orange somewhere on the shoe. It just doesn't look good. It doesn't flow with the olive uppers. It is what it is. I'm still happy with how this custom turned out, but I would have done a couple things differently to make this shoe look a lot better. Now let's take it from the top and exactly what I did to make this custom happen. I laid down a bunch of olive on the entire upper of the shoe. Pretty much the entire upper got painted except for the tongues. We laid down a bunch of olive and black, cream on the swooshes and on the sock liner. We also laid down this Nike Air Max on the tongue. My favorite detail by far of this custom is the undefeated logo on the back that me and Julian laser engraved. The worst part about this custom that I already mentioned is the orange sole dye. Needless to say, I'm going to retire the undefeated Kobe for a long time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. Catch you guys next time.